A year ago, an earthquake and tsunami triggered meltdowns at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant in Japan. Driving onto the site today, the aftermath is still easy to see. Cleanup operations are in full swing. Thousands of workers are removing debris and building defenses to prevent the further spread of radioactivity. A cover over the Unit 1 reactor was completed in October, and workers have erected barriers to try and prevent radioactivity from flowing into the Pacific Ocean. Plastic sheeting hung from these orange buoys is designed to catch contaminated particles. In December, the plant's owner, TEPCO, announced that all three reactors had reached cold shutdown. That means the cores are no longer at boiling temperatures. But it doesn't mean Fukushima's problems are solved. The reactors are full of holes, and cooling water leaks into buildings and basements. It must be pumped out, filtered to remove radiation, and then recycled back into the reactors. And the insides of the reactors are still very much a mystery. Workers can only venture so far before high radiation levels make it too dangerous. Robots can get closer. Here we see one taking dust samples to monitor the high levels of radioactivity. In January, engineers managed to get a tiny camera inside the Unit 2 reactor, but they couldn't see much. The colored specks you see are caused by deadly radiation from the core. Beyond the plant's boundary, there are problems too. The government has announced major cleanup operations to begin in April, but nobody knows where the radioactive debris will go. Japan doesn't have a nuclear waste repository. Over 100,000 residents of Fukushima remain displaced as a result of the accident. There is measurable radioactivity throughout much of the evacuation zone and beyond. In many areas, the levels are too low to pose a health risk. Most evacuees could probably return to their homes soon, but it remains to be seen whether anyone will. Workers at the plant must play a much longer game. Until radioactive fuel inside the reactors decays further, they will have to focus on maintaining cooling, strengthening the plant's defenses against another quake, and decontamination. Here, they're spraying a suppressant to keep down radioactive dust. It will be years before anyone gets a clear look inside the battered reactors, and it will be longer still before they are removed. For Nature News, I'm Jeff Brumfield.